time for a single box mail time. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We of course have a mail time today and this one is going to be a little bit different than the rest of them. So this is actually a box that I had shipped to myself after SHOT Show because I just had too much stuff in my bags. I couldn't bring everything inside of this box home with me. Now last year, if you followed all of my SHOT Show coverage, you would know that I went to an event called the Gift of Gun. And everything that's inside of this box is from the Gift of Gun event this year. If you wanna check out the event video for last year, I'll leave a link for it right up here. Basically what it is, is a gifting suite for people like myself and for companies to come together, network, shoot some guns, you have some food, chat a little bit, and overall it's a pretty good time. Now this year when I got to the event, I was sort of rolling around by myself, so I really didn't have anyone to film me shooting all of the cool stuff. However, it was a really good time. Most of the people who were invited to this event were Instagram people, and I believe I actually might have been the only YouTube person. Like, my entire focus is on YouTube, obviously. That's really besides the point, but what this gifting suite is, is an opportunity for companies to talk to people like myself, and for me to talk to these companies. They get products in my hand, and I in turn can show you guys. I'll post about them on my second Instagram account if you wanna go follow that. And there's a good chance that everything in this box will show up on the channel here in the future at some point over the next couple weeks, months, and probably sometime this year. So with all that being said, there were two big bags of stuff and things that were put into this box and I really didn't have a chance to look through it before I left. So this is all going to be sort of a first look for me. Now, if you guys wanna know more about this event, who was in attendance, how you can attend next year, all the products and sponsor stuff inside of this box, I will leave a link to the Gift of Gun website down in the description below. Check it out for more info on whatever we find here inside of this box. So let's just jump right into it. Right here is a clipboard from the event. We've got badges. Check out the photo that they put on my badge. The caption of this photo on Instagram was, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wayne Gretzky, Michael Scott. We got some stickers, and then I believe these are some gift cards from some of the sponsors. We got Gargoyles glasses. I can exchange this for some glasses, which are ballistic, and a lot of my friends actually shoot with these, so you get that ballistic protection in eyewear, which is a nice touch when you're out shooting. And then we have a $200 gift card for Savior Equipment, and you guys may have seen some of their bags on my channel in the past. This is actually one that they had sent out when they first released. It's a black multi-cam range bag for rifles and everything else. I use this for the range almost every single week when I'm up there filming videos. Got some nice pockets in it, very solid build, and I actually really do enjoy their products. So that's a cool way to start off this box, but let's get into the actual goods, which is probably what you want to see. Starting with this right here, coming from X Products. This is the X15 50 round drum mag for an AR or M16. It's got some weight to it. Capable of 1100 rounds per minute rate of fire. That would make me think that this thing would be ultra reliable if it can feed rounds that quickly. No tools necessary to load proven reliability without the need for lubrication. And for a 50 round drum mag, that is actually a pretty good size. Maybe I will have to shoot this in an upcoming video. Now if you know anything about X products, this is also the company that makes flamethrowers, like ridiculous flamethrowers. You can wear them on your back or get handheld ones. So those things are pretty sweet. You should check them out if you haven't already. Next up, these packages look familiar. These are definitely Strike Industries. We've got a red magazine catch right there and then a FDE looking hand stop on there. This is what they call their link anchor. I actually haven't used these, but all of the other hand stops that you see me use on builds all the time are typically from Strike Industries. And then this magazine button, I've used these on a couple builds as well. So very cool that they were a part of this event. Moving right along, let's get into some of these bigger ones right here. We got a calendar, Alpha Gun Angels. I'm trying to see if I know anyone on this cover right here. I guarantee you I probably know some of them in here. Orin Julie. Here, who's on my birthday? I'm not sure, but I dig it. All right, so here on the back, thank you, see you next year, Alpha Gun Angel Services. You can use coupon code CALENDAR10 
for 10% off anything on their website. If I had to guess, I would say there's going to be a lot of discount codes throughout this video, so keep your eyes peeled. And then right behind that, we have a Premier Body Armor Backpack Panel. You guys may have seen me shoot one of these up like two and a half years ago now. Uh, these are really cool because a lot of them are fit for Vertex bags. This is my current EDC pack. It's the Vertex EDC Ready Pack. And on the inside here, actually in the back, you actually can't really tell, but on the bottom here, there is some Velcro. And then if you peek inside there, there's actually a black multicam to match the black multicam bag. There's a black multicam Premier Body Armor panel that can fit right inside of there. So that's exactly what this thing is. This is a universal fit, so you could slip it in any backpack that fits something that is 11 by 16 and a half. We actually shot one of these up at the event and it was cool to actually pull the rounds out and see where you were hitting and everything. I don't know how many rounds we shot, maybe probably like 18 between everyone who was there. So pretty cool, a little self-defense right there. So there's our 12th shot. Double the NIJ spec. I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in more body armor types of videos, but there's a lot of different companies out there and chances are you may see some new ones coming down the line here soon. And then we got more parts. Here we have one coming from Gearhead Works. I talked to these guys while we were at the event and they hooked it up with a tail hook pistol brace. This is a mod two. Important note on the side here, these are ATF approved and I actually have not used one of these on any build so far. The way this one works though, I will show you real quick. You of course install this on your pistol and then right back here is a little button. You press that back and then this thing flips open like that so it makes a hook. Then when this thing is attached to said pistol, you simply put your arm in it right like that. You don't have to deal with any type of Velcro or anything like that. It just kind of holds its shape up around your arm and obviously it's not gonna hold the entire weight of the gun like that, but you can see it's got some rigidity to it and it will help you brace the pistol that you're shooting. So with all the parts that have been included in this box so far, you guys can probably imagine that I'm going to be putting together another build sometime here in the future. Speaking of that, Soul Invictus was also another sponsor of this event and they should be sending a receiver set, upper and lower, I believe it's for an AR-15. Not exactly sure when that will be here, but all of these parts will probably be included in one massive build and you guys will see that eventually when I get around to it. So moving right along, here's a good plug for the Range 702 where we had this event. I filmed a few videos there in the past, not only the Gift of Gun last year, but I also filmed some stuff with Safe Life Defense when we were doing a vest test video uh, back in the summer. So huge shout out to Range 702. I'm not one to shoot at indoor ranges very often, but the people there are friendly and yeah, it was a good time. Then moving right along, <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't know this was a part of it. My friend Tracy Guns on Instagram is the one who put this event together and that's her. That's what she looks like if you do follow her on Instagram. She actually made patches of herself like this, which is on the headliner in my van right now. So pretty cool cartoonized drawing. Would you guys wear something like that if it had my face on it? Probably not gonna happen, so don't get your hopes up. And speaking of t-shirts, it looks like I'm gonna have a whole new wardrobe right here. We have another t-shirt from the people at North Tack. So these dudes make some optics, a few different red dot optics, maybe even some other stuff as well. But at the event, they had three different red dot models there. I should have at least one of those coming in for testing sometime soon. I don't believe there are any in this box right now. I think it might be a company worth checking out because I know a lot of people don't like how I review very expensive stuff all the time. So far, these feel pretty quality, the ones that I've messed with at the event. It's cool because they have the riser built into the actual whole chassis of the red dot. So they should be relatively affordable and you may see that on the build of whatever gun I'm gonna build with everything that I have here. Now moving right along, we got a couple things left. This is a product catalog from JE Machine Tech and it looks like they're gonna be hooking it up with a buffer tube or a handguard. Handguard would be pretty important. Ooh, that is a nice looking buffer tube though. So here's a whole product catalog for everything that they offer and that will just be some more parts going into this build. Oh, I see one more strike industry part down here. We got a UDC, a universal dust cover, and I put these on pretty much everything. And this looks to be the little capsule version. I believe I put this exact one on 
the Atom Smasher build. What's cool about these is that they're really easy to install. You don't have to worry about any kind of like captive pin or anything. You really just pinch it with your fingers, slide it into place, and then it's good to go. Also very easy to remove if you ever want to swap it out in the future. So speaking of parts, it looks like we have some more parts here. And this one is coming from the people at Hogue. I swung by their table at the event and I was just like looking at all of the knives and not really paying attention to who I was talking to. And then at the end of the conversation, I was like, cool, thanks man, what was your name again? I look up and it's Neil Hogue. So Neil, if you watch this, I apologize. Um, but yeah, it was cool to meet you finally in person. Let's check out what they have here. It looks like a little pistol bag full of parts. So here we have a stock in case I didn't want to go with the tail hook route, I could build an actual rifle hoe grip on there. Those things are actually really comfortable if you like the finger grooves. And then, ooh, a cool little Hogue Knives rubber mat. You can never have too many rubber mats. I use them for everything. This is actually a pretty nice bag too. It has some kind of like plush material on the inside. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. And we have a Hogue beaver tail grip sleeve for a SIG 365. I do actually own the 365, so I guess I will throw that on there. Also in this box, we have a certificate for firearms customization. This is coming from Valkyrie Combat. They are based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and they do some pretty wild Cerakote. I don't think I've ever gotten any guns Cerakoted, now that I think about it, other than like people building me guns. I don't think I've ever sent out a gun to be completely Cerakoted. If you guys think that one of the guns in my collection would be cool to have a ridiculous Cerakote job done to it, something like really flashy, let me know what gun you think I should send out. Maybe I should just send out whatever I build with all these parts. Now we got two more things here. Looks like we got a little bag from Victos. Victos seems like a pretty cool company. These guys I have not really done anything with, but they make like apparel and shorts, gloves, shoes, packs like this. This is what they call their upscale CCW sling bag. Made all out of Kodoro, YKK zippers, silent poles. No, I'm just kidding, it sounds like this. Oh, and then inside of here, they actually have a little nylon holster. It's actually a pretty good idea. So this is gonna be really similar to some other sling bags, which you guys have seen me review a lot on the channel. You can just stick this in here right like this, holster your gun up in there. Looks like you have some outer pockets for magazines or first aid, whatever else you may have with you. A little grab pouch at the top. Maybe you're throwing some like EDC items in there. And then the way this will work, if I set it up to be right-handed, I have it set a little too tight right now, but you'll get the picture. Stand in there, you need to get access to something. You whip this around in front of you, and then you will have access to said firearm right in there. So that's a pretty cool bag. It's very, very small, and it does have molly all over the outside of it, so you could do probably a lot of different things with this bag. And now, one final little pouch right here. Maybe I shouldn't shake this, I don't even know what's in it. Nine millimeter patch on the outside. Oh, and inside we have a little, looks like a little G-code pouch on here. G-code clip, some stickers, some zipper poles. G-code, G-code, G-code. Oh yeah, and right on the front there, this thing is made by G-code, so cool little ammo storage. All right, well, that is all that I have in this box right now, so that will wrap up mail time. If you guys want to know anything else about this event or the sponsors and everything, like I said, link in the description down below. Follow my second Instagram account where I'll be highlighting a little bit more of these products, and once I eventually put together a full entire build, then you guys will see that on the second channel, Sunday Gun Day. So one last thank you again to Tracy for putting together the event. Shout out to Range 702 and all of the sponsors, everyone who was involved putting it together. It was a lot of fun and maybe I will be there again next year. That's all that I have for today. If you guys are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe and make new videos every week. As always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.